Hi, this is Scott with Spectre Gear for today's product spotlight. We're going to be taking a look at our buttstock magazine pouches for the HK91 G3 series of rifles. This would, of course, cover the other variants and clones that are out there, so long as they use the fixed stock pattern and profile of the HK, HK91 and G3. Uh, what it does, it holds one 20 round 7.62 by 5.1 millimeter mag, and it, it holds that magazine on the weapon at all times, so it's readily accessible. Should you have to grab the gun and go, you've got one critical gunfight saving uh, reload on the gun at all times. Now, why this is important and why you should maybe consider this is there's any number of circumstances that you can find yourself in where you may have to grab your gun and go, and that's all the time you have. You don't have time to grab anything else. From a law enforcement perspective, it could be a hot traffic stop. It could be an active shooter situation. There's a lot of times that trouble can get up on you pretty suddenly. And if you even have time to grab a long gun, you're not going to have time to grab much else. Uh, so have, taking the precaution of adding some type of ammunition carriage to your long gun is a pretty good idea, especially if it's a grab-and-go gun. Uh, so, and, and from a civilian standpoint, the same rules apply. Should somebody be kicking your door down at three o'clock in the morning or, uh, you know, tearing up something on your, on your property and you have to get out there and get out there in a hurry, uh, there's not a lot of time to grab anything else. And again, having something on the gun could provide a potentially critical life-saving and, or at least gunfight ending reload, uh, that you have available with the gun at all times. So just something to think about now getting to the pouch itself. Uh, what it is, it's a Velcro closure, a single retention pouch that obviously opens up just like that. But let me start with uh, start by talking about the flap and the pull tab real quick. The uh, pull tab, we feature the same vertically oriented pull tab that we use on our flapped pouches that are designed for molly applications and belt applications. In this case, it's not necessarily um, vertically oriented, but it's forward oriented. And what that means is, and, and that this whole pull tab kind of came out of the, the design work we did for our early buttstock magazine pouches. And we had to consider that if you're reaching over the top or, or under the bottom of the gun, we don't want you to have to reach any further back than you absolutely have to in order to get this flap open. And another consideration is if you have the, uh, the rifle shouldered, the shoulder pocket is going to conflict with this area right here. And if you have a pull tab that's coming off the end of the flap, it can be difficult to compete between your shoulder and your arm and try to fish in there and get that flap open. And invariably, you'll have to grab a, a top or bottom corner in, in order to open the flap. Instead, what we've done is this pull tab is now fairly far forward in comparison. So all that you need to do is just grab the end of that tab and pull, and it's open, just like that. And of course, Velcro closure with hook on the flap and uh, loop on the pouch body. Contained within, you see the magazine right there. And uh, let me go ahead and pop the magazine out, and I'll show you some of the, uh, some of the other features of the, the flap and the pouch body itself. The, uh, the flap is constructed of two layers of type 17337 webbing with, of course, Velcro closure. It is also adjustable, and you can see the Velcro loop right here. We also have corresponding Velcro hook on the flap itself. And what that is designed to do is allow you to uh, extend or contract this flap to accommodate for the different length magazines. And keeping in mind, of course, we use this same magazine pouch for all of the uh, 762 by 51 millimeter mags. So you're going to have minor variations in terms of length, and this allows you to fine tune that. The uh, pouch body is constructed of two layers, a thousand denier cordura nylon. It's one continuous piece that's folded over, so you have cordura on the outside and also on the inside. We uh, also have another feature which is kind of unique, and you can see the stitch lines for it here. At the point where this is folded over, we insert a piece of one inch type 17337 in between, and then we sew it in place. And what that does is it provides a more rigid pouch mouth opening so that uh, the magazines uh, are easier to go in and out. And if you're dealing with a, with a magazine that has a locking tab, and that's, that's an issue, for instance, on the FNFAL, and that's an issue on the uh, M14 mags, on the G3s, the other issue is these little tabs that come off right here. Um, those have a tendency to snag on things like edge binding. So what we did is we provide a completely snag proof opening so that there, it's not going to catch on anything coming in and out. Um, and that's really about it in terms of the uh, pouch body and flap. The back face, this is all sewn to, is two layers of thousand denier cordura nylon. 
with two layers of 1250 ballistic nylon within. Now let me show you how this attaches, and it's um, this is where this kind of takes a, a pretty stark departure from the uh, Buttstock magazine pouches for the FNFAL and uh, and the M14. Um, it utilizes a stirrup type rear adapter. However, the stirrup type rear adapter is not um, a stirrup type rear adapter that's used for this sling application because the G3 slings, and let me uh, grab a sling real quick so I can show you. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so I can make it a little, a little more clear. Well, let me pull this loose, and then we can get a closer look also at the actual back face. Let me turn this over. So any sling that you would purchase for an HK91 G3 type weapon is going to feature a rear slider rather than a stirrup type rear adapter. And it's going to be designed to interface with this sling bar that's in the stock itself. So you don't, if you purchased a G3 or an HK91 sling, you will not be provided with the stirrup adapter that you would be provided with, for instance, if you purchased an M14 or, uh, or FNFAL sling. Now we, uh, we sell a basic kit where you can, uh, you can attach, you can buy the kit to attach to the sling that you're purchasing. And, and that's nice. However, um, that option is not available with this particular gun because if you own the sling, you don't have one of these. So you have to buy the standalone version. That's the only way this comes. Um, because you have, this obviously can't, uh, it has nothing to attach to. It has no adapter to attach to here. So you do have to buy the stirrup rear adapter. Once you've done that, you can elect either use the loop that's on the actual buttstock magazine pouch's rear adapter, or you can continue to use the loop on the stock. One interesting factor though, um, this, and, and it kind of goes to point out that this pouch is completely ambidextrous. And at this point, let me break and let me digress slightly and talk about the back face and how everything attaches to it. Um, we have our front attachment strap, which of course controls the front movement of the pouch. And then we have the rear, which controls at obviously the rear. It attaches to the stirrup rear adapter via this attachment strap here and this retainer. And of course this attaches here. Now, if you wanted to switch over to make this a left-handed version, rather than just turn it upside down, um, it's, we instead recommend that you reorient these pieces. And it's very simply done. You just break the Velcro contact here, pull this strap out, insert it from the other side. Like so. Do the same at the rear. Yank that out, turn it around, bring it out the other side. And of course it's retained by this Velcro here. Move it all the way to the rear. And then we would uh, attach to the rear, the cross strap of the rear adapter on this side. Okay, simple as that. And now it's set up for a left-handed variation. And then I'll be able to finish the thought that I was about to make. So now it's set up for a left-handed variation in that the pouch is going to be on the left side of the stock rather than the right. One interesting advantage that this gives you is if you have one of these guns. Now, some of the I've seen some HK91s um, that have the the rear attachment point for the for the sling on this side. There are, however, some like this this clone, and uh, I've seen some set me's, for instance, that don't. Uh, there's no provision to attach on the left side. But if you go with this unit, you can now use the loop from this adapter for the other side, and now you can attach your sling to the, the uh, uh, attacher sling to the weapon properly. It's just a thought, just a, a little tiny added bonus to it, but uh, it is there and it is a thing. So that's really all there is to it. Again, there's just the one version of this that you can purchase, and that is the buttstock magazine pouch for the HK91 G3 with the rear adapter provided. There is no kit that goes with this, so there should be no confusion, only one variant. 
if you buy the buttstock magazine pouch kit and it is available on the page you may see that and say well that's all i need right if you do end up buying just the buttstock magazine pouch kit this is all you're going to get and there will be no way to attach this to the gun so if you have a G3 HK91 type gun or one of the clones or variants, you have to buy and must buy the one with the rear adapter provided and you will receive the stirrup rear adapter um, along with your purchase. So I hope that uh, makes that clear. There's really not much more to say about it. It's uh, uh, a simple, robust pouch and uh, provides you a, a very effective means of carrying a spare mag on the weapon at all times. So with that, I will uh, go ahead and bring this to a close. And as always say that these products are manufactured right here in the uh, United States and by Cellu California. And for more information or for purchasing, you can contact us at www.spectregear.com. And with that, I will say thank you for watching and have a great day.